Today we're going to take a look at compound collision shapes. So I'm just going to start off by creating a toy car. I'm going to create a cube for the main body. And I'm going to create four wheels. I'm just going to go to the top view. And I'm just going to reduce the radius of this tire and the height. Put it over here. 70 along X. And I'm just going to clone this. So minus 70. Then I'm going to clone these two tires. So I'll make Z90 for these two. And then plus, sorry, minus 90 for the front two tires. So we have a perfectly symmetrical toy car. It's very simple, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it'll work. So next I'm going to create a floor object. I'm going to turn on line mode and I'm just going to get rid of the grid. Where is it? Here. Okay. So usually when we apply a dynamics tag to an object, uh, the result's quite predictable. I'm going to add a simulation tag rigid body to the sphere and then just control drag it to the floor. If I play back the simulation, the sphere falls down and collides with the floor object. So what if I want to um, apply a dynamics tag to my toy car. So I'm just going to add a simulation tag rigid body and then just copy it over for all the components. And I'm just going to play this back. So the toy car falls down and the tires kind of break off the main body. So what I want is I want this to kind of act as one kind of solid object, even though the toy car is made up of five different uh, objects, I want it to act as one solid object. So I'm just going to select all these objects and hit Alt G to group them in a null. And I'm just going to move my rigid body tag to the null and delete the rest of these rigid body tags. And I'm just going to play back the simulation. And for some strange reason, the toy car falls right through the floor. That's basically because the null object has a rigid body tag and because a null object is basically empty, it's just going straight through the floor. And then because all these children objects are attached to the null, they're just kind of blindly following it. So if we want this to act as one solid object, there's an option. I'm just going to click on the simulation tag, go to collision. And then where it says inherit tag, I'm going to choose compound collision shape. So now when we play this back, finally the toy car acts as a solid object. I'm just going to move this up, and rotate it slightly, play it back, and that's much better. It's going to reduce my frames. And in the previous tutorial, we discussed the visualize settings. Just going to go to project settings, dynamics, visualization, enable. And I want to see my collision shapes. So now we can see the collision shapes. Uh, the cylinders are using a kind of low poly uh, proxy cylinder. And the body is just a cube. But uh, when we're using the null, there was no collision shape, so it was just going right through the floor. So that's very important. And we'll be using this a lot in future tutorials on dynamics. One last thing, uh, you don't have to use a null object, so I could have the body of the car, i.e. the cube, driving everything, so I could just grab these tires, the cylinders, put them under the cube, take the cube out the null, 
and then just put the uh, dynamics tag from the null onto the cube. Just make sure that compound collision shape is selected. And then if I play this back, we get the exact same result. So that's a quick introduction to compound collision shapes. Um, if you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.